Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Eric. I'm gonna unbox something special today. It's Arduino Pro Portenta H7. I remember I pre-ordered this in early February this year 2020. Finally, it's in my hands. As you know, I'm not a guy who is unboxing products to introduce it, and that's not my style. But as an exception, I wanted to introduce this product because I'm so interested in it. Then, let's get started. First, I'm opening the USPS packaging. Mm -hmm. Wow. Box. It says Arduino Pro Portenta H7. Right? Uh -huh. Wow. Oh, yeah. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Let me open it. Okay. Oh, there's a uh, extra antenna, and yeah, look at that. Wow, it's pretty awesome. Hmm. I love the black color of the PCB, and it looks really good. Mm -hmm. I think this is all in the box. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Mm. Mm. Where's my USB dirty to do? Mm. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the specs. It has a dual core Cortex M7 at 480 megahertz and M4 at 240 megahertz. What's really interesting is that is working in parallel. For instance, it's possible to execute Arduino compiled code along with a MicroPython code and have both cores communicate with one another. So it can run like any other embedded microcontroller board or as a microprocessor of an embedded computer. Also, it supports using TensorFlowWrite. With the TensorFlowWrite, one of the cores could compute an image processing algorithm on the fly while the other could make uh, low-level operations like uh, controlling motors or acting as a user interface. Let's take a look at a uh, GPU. Yes, it has an on-chip GPU called Chrome Art Accelerator in STM32H7. Uh, it allows you to connect the external monitor through USB-C port. Um, here is a USB-C port. I think I can organize the cables on my desk finally. <laughs> As you can see, the programming connector is a USB-C port that can also be used to power the board as a USB hub to connect a display port monitor or to deliver the power to OTG connected devices. Uh, this small chip is the slim port ANX7625, which is to convert MIPI to DisplayPort 1.3 high performance video with a resolution up to 4K or UHD. It supports USB uh, 3.1 first generation, 5 giga, uh, gigabit per set, and USB PD 3.0 on CC wire. Huh. On the right side of the USB C port, it's power LED. On the other side, uh, it's battery charge LED. You can plug the battery here, battery in here. Uh, with this board, you can charge your lithium polymer battery 3.7 voltage. Uh, and the other side, uh, it's for I2C. Also, uh, also, it has 5 volt output and ground too. As you know, I have done lots of projects with uh, USB32. The USB32 is great. It's very cheap and it supports Bluetooth and Wi-Fi uh, connectivity. 
I'm pretty sure that you can do all the simple projects with the ESP32. One thing I really wanted is making a connection with both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi at the same time with the ESP32. In the end, it was impossible to use it uh, at the same time. However, H7 allows uh, two connections at the same time. Also, it has a much more powerful than ESP32. I think there will be many projects uh, that can be done using this. This Portenta H7 is not for beginners. It's closer to the industrial level. Uh, I don't know what kind of project will be going on uh, sooner or later, but I hope it will help. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.